Hello channel folks out there, today in this video I'm going to be telling you guys about what I got to on my Tuesday. Hope you've all had a lovely day, today I was at college and I got ready for the day ahead. I was up early as the bus times have changed now, I have to get up at 7.30 and to be out the door at 8.15 to get the bus at 8.30. Used to get the bus, uh, a bus stop that's that way, now it's up that way so I'm a bit further to go but at least it's good exercise eh. And I was ready pretty early, so I had some time to have a bit of free time, just chill out, play the subway surfer, went onto Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, tweeted, chat to my mates on Facebook, and put some pictures onto my Instagram. And me and my best mate are going off to the pub tomorrow for some free birthday drinks, as my birthday is on Sunday, going to be 21. I can't believe that. And I'm a little bit anxious because my mum's got to have a scan today. Nothing major, nothing serious. She's just got to go have a check up just to make sure everything's ticky to boo. And she's going to be fine because she's been, had lots of scans and stuff because of her pneumonia and her diabetes and her stuff like that. Sorry about that. That's just my bonkers cat that's like 100 and he's just very crazy. It's literally like a baby. He peasy boots everywhere and sometimes sick and all he does is meow constantly when I'll be trying to sleep about three o'clock in the morning all I hear is him constantly meowing and it is just so aggravating and yeah literally he got his foot shut in the door and the vet said that his, his bones had been broken and then the next day they went in and saw him and all he had was a scratch on his foot so I'm convinced that this cat is immortal and he's going to outlive us all and yeah, finally be quiet. he's been quiet now. I tidied my office up as my office was a bit of a mess and I got my bag and stuff ready, listened to a bit of music, watched a bit of TV and then it was time for me to head off to get the bus to college. I said goodbye to my mum and locked up and patted my dog Harvey on the head and then went off to college and I waited for the bus and the bus took what felt like forever to arrive. Finally got the bus to college. I got on and there's the double decker bus now that I get to and from college to T2. And so that's good. You get to sit on the top deck each time. I went and sat on the top deck, listened to my music and almost fell asleep while on the way to college. And then my teammates got on the bus and I was chatting to them about how my weekend was. And then we got to college and I went to the factory and was greeted by my two mates. And we had a good catch up about what we've been up to on our weekend and our Father's Day. And then I got a flat track and I've been a did a bit of drawing and then we went off and sat outside enjoying the beautiful sunshine as it's been very sunny today, a little bit windy, but other than that, very lovely and sunny. And then I went into the U Block to go find my course through the cage to find out where we were, because we're normally in D one one in the morning and in the U Block computer room in the afternoon but because of exams we've not been in D11 for quite a few weeks and I was finally in on time due to the buses I've been in late a few times because of the buses we come doing time and stuff so I was finally in on time and I've only got one week left out of this next week I've got Monday off and I have Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then I finish and I just can't believe how fast this course has gone this year has just flown by and I cannot wait to see where I go next and can't wait to see the next chapter of my life unfold on my eyes and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing where I go next and hopefully I'll be getting a job and stuff and I got to D111 where we were back and we did some book work and some sheet work and got all that done and dusted ready for next week to do the fun stuff next tuesday we're going to be off to the park to have a picnic and barbecue and play some games and some ball games and cards and stuff and yeah i'm really looking forward to that it's going to be a good nice treat and then it's the award show thing that they do each year at the end of the, the year just before summer holidays but I'm not going to that because I've gone to two of them and I just can't be bothered this year so Tuesday will be my last 
day in college and then Thursday, this Thursday coming, I will be going off to an open evening about a lady who's going to be coming to our houses and helping us with CV and st CV stuff and how to get jobs and interview techniques and stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I can't wait to get back to workplace with work. Miss Friday has overslept as we, we had a power cut, so all our power kind of went off. And my dad came back and sorted it all out. And my mum thought that my brother was taking me, and my brother thought that my mum was taking me, so it was all a massive kerfuffle. And so we called up and just let them know that I'd overslept, and so, so, so certain circumstances have prevented me from getting there. And all really worked because I've never missed a single day, and I was really frustrated because I'd never missed a single day of work placement. And I don't think I'll be getting a job there because of the certain shops at the garden centre have been closed down, so a lot of people have been made redundant, so they've stopped employing the rent, but it doesn't mean they won't employ it in the future. So I'll just have to find a new job while while they're not hiring. And then keep an eye out for when I do, and because I've done placement, it means I will be able to apply and should hopefully be on the top of the list. But I'm not 100% sure that I haven't got a job yet. I don't find out till next week, so I just got to keep my fingers crossed for that. And we then had break, and I went off to the shops and got a drink and sat on a bench with my mate, and we just chatted, put the rose to white, had a good chin wag, and a good catch up. Then we made our way back to college and went off to second lesson and I did human bingo where we went round and had to ask questions about, about people and see what they liked and what they didn't like and then ticked it all off and I came second in getting the complete bingo and then my friend Katie beat me by just a few minutes and uh, I'm quite sad really because she's well sad and happy she's got a uh, full time job now, so starting from next week, she's not going to be in college anymore, and so I'm sad about that, but happy that she's now got a job, and wish her the best of luck. So we all had big hugs when sh she was leaving this afternoon, and we played some more games, and then went off to lunch, and I had the lunch in the factory, and then did some drawing and read in the library. I went to you block and we played some cards and board games and then I went off back to lessons and we went to you block computer room and we played some cards and board games and listened to the radio and listened to a bit of music and it was really fun. Then I had my lunch break and went to the factory and chatted with my mates in there and I guess I could catch up. I told one of the LSAs about my mum having a scan this afternoon and how I was a little bit anxious and she was short me and said I'm sure she'll be fine. And then said how she got my haircut. Quite a few people were saying that, so it was really good. Got a bit messed up due to the wind, but still a V. And yeah, I'm really liking saying still a V at the moment. That's just a thing that I've started obsessing over. And I then went off to the U Block Quiet Room, and me and my mate Alfie played knots and crosses. And the game where you have lots of dots in a row then have to make squares out of the dots and then put your initials inside of the squares that you've done and then it was the end of break and I did some drawing I did two new drawings and they are pretty funky pretty out there and I really like them like kind of a manga anime kind of style so I'll be taking photos of those to put on Instagram later on but my phone the charge is so bad on it at the moment that it needs to be off all the time quickly because the charge just dropped really quickly so I need to get that sorted out or probably hopefully get a new phone in the near future and then we went off back to the last part of the lesson and did some more card playing and ball game playing then it was the end of the day we got let out about two-ish I got to the bus stop and I called home to see if I could get the early bus and I got there and my friend Katie came and said how I just missed the bus by like two minutes, which was very frustrating. She then went off home, I gave her a big hug, as we won't see her now till the summer when me and my course mates are hopefully going to be meeting up. And I had to wait for the bus to arrive, and it didn't come until ages. And then the bus finally arrived, and me and my mates just messed around at the bus stop having a good laugh. 
I was being very loud and crazy as per usual, they just bring up my crazy side. Then the bus came and I got on the bus and sat upstairs on double decker. My eyes are a bit bad at the moment because I've been hay fever but I will persevere. And yeah, cheers. Don't worry guys, it's not wine. It's just a bit of vimp too. And yeah. I then listened to my music and it had like that much percent, so like barely any, but it lasted until I got home, which was amazing. And I just listened to a bit of Kylie, a bit of Patrick Disco, and just a large variety of music, because my music taste goes from, as they say, my music taste goes from Disney classics to Pop 1, or is it Pop 1 to Disney? Whatever, my music taste is just crazy be all over the place. I just have such a big range of music taste. And then got home and I put my bag of stuff away and went onto my Facebook to Instagram. My dad's getting back from work at about half past six and then going off to take my mum into hospital for a scan. And then they're going off to feed our family friends chickens and fish and cats as they've gone off to Blackpool for our family friends mum's funeral and then they're getting back and I have to watch EastEnders from last night, today's home and neighbours and then watch the Saints from this evening. There's no Amadol or Corey last night due to the football and my older brother and younger brother are off to rugby tonight and my older brother's down from uni. My younger brother and sister are back from college and I am now off to go watch today's home with my neighbours, treat a bit and play my main protect doll and then get my bag and uniform and stuff ready for work placement tomorrow. I hope you've all had a lovely Tuesday, have a lovely rest of your week and I shall see you soon with a new bug coming very soon. Bye!